Hey, it's Joel. The year 2019 is almost over. This also means the decade is almost over. And I wanted to do a look back, not at just this year, but this decade. Yes, my channel isn't 10 years old, but at the same time, the episodes I've been producing have been for a few years. And I can't do that without my team. Team, assemble! Hi. So the three of us are going to take a look back at some of our favorite episodes in this decade. And we're going to do it right here on... 3D, 3D Pretty Nerd! Good job. Good job. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Of course, this is my team here on 3D Pretty Nerd. Uh, this is Sean. Hi. Sean hey. is... How would you describe what you do? I mean, I shoot the videos, I edit the videos, I do very, very little of the producing stuff, because uh, that's mostly this guy's job. But that's... That's what I that's do. A, that's a lot. Yeah, that's, that's, a lot. that's, that's what I do. And, and, and graphics, those things. Yeah, yeah that, oh, that's, and that's right. After that, Effects. That, that's, that's, that's me. <clears throat> it's awesome. Yes. And the little meme insertions, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Any, any of those little pop culture references that I slide in, that's, yeah, that's, that's me. You are a master of pop culture. What can I say except you're welcome? Sometimes. You should get a pop culture crown, 3D Ooh. printed. Yes. And this is David over here. David is my uh, producer. David, tell yeah. them what you get to do. I get to, I don't know, pretty much a lot of everything. I run second camera when we're out in the field, mm -hmm. bouncing around doing that stuff. Um, usually basically following all the story, making sure everything's tracking out there, making sure Joel looks wonderful, and also dealing with all of the wonderful people in the community around the world that have been interacting with us on so many different levels and helping flush out their stories and make sure that we can tell something compelling and and really important and also really fun and silly in this and also dealing with all the logistics that go on behind the scenes and all those elements, everything from uh, flights to fun. Wow, that's cheesy. But <laughs> that's yeah. pretty cheesy. I mean, that's pretty cheesy. <laughs> yes, uh, get them great with dad jokes. So there we go. <laughs> so what's great is because I have a team, it means all I have to do is yell at a camera and apparently that's my skill. That's, so you would do that I'm very glad well. you're here. Yeah, it's, it's a skill, Joel. Thank you very much. What we've got planned, though, each of us has went through, looked at the back catalog as much as we could in a drunken rage, and found five, six, ten, five. Let's hope five of our favorite episodes that have aired here on 3D Printing Nerd, with the goal being, I don't know what Sean picked or what David picked, and David doesn't know what I or Sean picked, and Sean doesn't know what I or David picked, and we get to now showcase our picks and talk about it. And who knows, there might be doubles, duplicates. You might have five unique videos that I didn't even remember us producing. Who knows? Very possible. <laughs> who knows? But I, I think, uh, I think yeah. it should be fun, and we're going to have Sean go first. Woo! Okay, so the first video, the first video. That was, that was an energetic <laughs> move, <laughs> by the way. Did you do your own like graphic meme right. with no, no. the voice? Oh, maybe I should. Maybe Star. I should. Remember, do you, do Star you, do you remember uh, how, when, I, when I first started the whooshing, mm -hmm. I used your whoosh. Whoosh. All right. Whoosh. 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 I did. Sound yes, you did. Sound yes, sound yes. Sound I remember that. that. Whoosh. Yeah. Whoosh. Okay, anyway, first video. Okay. First video. Uh, first. It's very appropriate for my first pick because oh. it was... Our first video together. <laughs> yes. oh, I know that. Okay, that is good. Oh, yes, that, so that is that is a good video right yeah, there. So this is the CR10 review, right? Awesome. The, the very first time that you and I ever actually worked together as a uh, as an editor. So I, I did some shooting with you at Murph before we did this. Right. But the first time I edited something for you was the CR10 video, and this the, re the reason I liked it besides that. Is because this is what got me into 3D printing. So before, <laughs> before this is your gateway. Yeah, this is my gateway drug. Because I'm like, holy crap, 400 bucks? Are you kidding me? Like, I should do this. I should learn this stuff. I'm going to be editing these videos for you. And it was very apparent because as soon as I sent you the first cut, you were like, you're pointing at the wrong thing. Yeah, you're, you're not. This is, this is not. We need to do redo this. And so, so that's that's why this is one of my just all time favorites. That's cool. Well, I like this. I your first your first edit job on the channel though was oh that's right the intro. The intro, yeah, yeah, the the, intro. yeah, yeah. Your original intro. That's right. Uh, one of your original intros. The with, intro with the Attack of the Show theme, with essentially. The, yeah, yes, with yeah. the Attack of the yeah. Show. That's theme. a cool yes. one, man. It's a yeah. good theme. Yeah. Yeah. That was cool. And my payment for that was. The, 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 oh, the uh, thorn. Thorn. The thorn. The thorn gun. That's yeah. right. Kirby uh, uh, modeled the thorn, and like, I 3D printed it for him, and I uh, sent it to him. I was him. just like, just send me a 3D print. That'd be really cool to have. Yeah. And that, that is still, still on it? display with all my Destiny stuff. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yes. Sure is. Yes. 
Next video. Next video. Is this in a hierarchical order? Is this no, five to one? No. So the very first one was first because it was the first, right? Okay. Oh, I but, understand. Okay. But uh, the rest of these are just kind of, uh, I like certain things about them or, or whatever. Okay. Um, the next two are very specific times that I liked about the video. Like, so like uh, at very specific points of the video. The uh, first one, and it's not the only, it's not the intro, even though it is done. <laughs> even though it is done by Zachary Levi. Yeah. Uh, that was really really cool. Um, the Shazam video that we did, where we where you painted the bust of, right. of Zach as Shazam, at about the two and a half minute mark, we do. Oh, that, that's that, right. That we do. We just did a cool fun effect yeah. where I did the Shazam transformation. Uh, with a lightning bolt. And anytime I get to use After Effects or you know, kind of like flex my uh, creative muscles in that in that way, I'm a big fan of. I mean, I, they're, they're huge time sinks. <laughs> yeah, yes, they are. <laughs> yeah. But I do love being able to kind of use special effects in the hmm. episodes. It looked awesome. Yes. That it was, was awesome. fantastic, uh, yeah, wasn't it, was, it? I remember when I saw this, I was like, okay, this is cool. Like, this, yeah. this was excellent. Yeah, and yeah. also I was really thrilled with the way the print came out too. Oh, absolutely! I mean, was, they they, really they look cool. they look fantastic. Yeah, I bet so, Zach liked it. Uh, I'm sure he did. Yeah, I like this 3D printed thing. And good luck. I hope you win this custom painted thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and we did take one of the prints and we gifted it to him at Portland. Uh, oh, we did. Rose right. That's right. Yeah, Rose so City we came up to a Rose City Comic Con right. in Portland, and uh, we we gave one to him, and he was very appreciative of I that. So, um, just Zach's overall, just a really cool dude. So. Uh, the next one, very, I get very similar in that I liked something that I did with After Effects in it. It was okay. uh, this, uh, this which one. Is, one is, wait, which so one? Let's see. Stop, stop. So this one is one where uh, there was a rush job because you were like, hey, the Rick and Morty season premiere is tomorrow. Let's see for season three. And <laughs> you're like, I'm going to film something and you're going to edit it. And I'm like, oh my God, sure, that's fine. That's fine. Here's my, here's my weekend. And then, and then I got the idea of like, man, we should really have you like portal out of this thing, and I was like, that's oh, just gonna make me have to do more After Effects work but, yeah. and consume my Saturday. But that was fine, and I love doing it, and that's why it's one of my favorites, because again, I got to do some cool After Effects stuff. It was so right it, at the it, end, wasn't it? was at the it? very, very end yeah. of the episode, where you decide to pour it all the way, and I'm, there we go. There right, we go. Yeah. And, right then, there. and then, uh, and then <laughs> some, <laughs> some green goo comes out. <laughs> some green goo. Some green goo. Some so it's goo. like, am I an alien, or did I go to the green goo planet, or planet of butts or something? I think that version of Joel died. Oh, I think that's what makes happens. sense. Yeah. I think I watched that clip like <laughs> ten to fifteen times, just yeah. watching it over and over again. I remember with this one, I think I said because it was a rush job, I'll give you fifty bucks. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You were like, here's a little bit extra scratch for that. And I was like, oh, that's, oh that's, man, that's, 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 that's awesome. Yeah, yep. Uh, and then so the next two are. <laughs> this, one <laughs> this one is one of my favorites because this shot. was the first time that I came <laughs> to see you in Seattle. That's this right. Before I moved out here, this was uh, last uh, November, I think. Yeah. Uh, the other reason it's near and dear to my heart is because we made a friggin' Power Rangers blaster. And I kind of yeah. like Power Rangers a little you, bit. You like it a little so bit. So it was a collaboration between, uh, you know, the two of us. <laughs> it's me playing oh VR. <laughs> and Defeat Saber. It was just a lot of fun to come to finally, you know, meet you, the family. Or not meet you, but like meet, meet, be, be in your house, meet the family, yeah. meet the dogs. Um, and then we got to collaborate on a print together, and we printed it on the Prusa, we printed it on the rail core. That was that's when right, when that's the right. Core. And then I got to insert so many Power Ranger cutaways in the edit. <laughs> so I that, wish more people that saw was, that, because it's yeah, only got, what, yeah, 15,000 yeah, views have, on it? It doesn't have too many views, yeah. We'll put a link in the description, yeah, and we'll make sure people so get to go click so yeah, on that. Yeah, all these videos. If you do. like Sean, hashtag Sean is awesome, go click the link for this video. Please. <laughs> well, thank you. Please. And the next one, the last one of my favorite, um, also another rush job. <laughs> they all a rush job. I'm yeah, sensing a theme <laughs> here. This one was, you called me up and you're like, hey, we've got Mitch from Mosaic coming by <laughs> <laughs> tonight. And we need to have an episode uh, by the next day. Like, like you were gonna record at 2 a.m., get me the footage, and then it had to go like the day after that. That's right. And it was That's just right. two hours of content that you just hit record on, and I had to make something out of it, of this big palette to like reveal. Uh, <laughs> it was like the reveal for the product, because they weren't gonna do it, or they did it on tested a little bit, right? But, yeah. But that was it, it was tested in you. Yeah. And uh, you know, so no, no pressure, and <laughs> here you go. And another, another cool thing is that this is the first time that we used DVX and XF400 together, which is what we shoot now mm, yeah. when we're out in the field. Oh, that's right. So it's kind of like the first, and I'm a big camera nerd, so it was the first time we used those two cameras together, and that's you know another reason I, I like this video quite a bit. Plus, 
it's the palette too, and it's a great device. I like yeah. it a lot. Yeah. In fact, I think I, I put the uh, I put the responsibility on Mosaic because I was like, you know, Sean's going to need to spend some extra time on this. You're going to have to help him out. Right. <laughs> and uh, didn't they give you a palette for they this? They gave me a palette two pro. Yeah. And the canvas. Cool. Nice. Like, there you go. Good on them. Yeah, you know that. Exactly. Good on them. Yeah. And I heard from them that uh, this episode that launched the Palette 2 yeah. was very successful and they really enjoyed it. That's awesome. I love this episode because you got to really see the capability of this technology in a really meaningful exactly. way. Yep. I mean, the diagrams of pieces and all this stuff in there, it's like, okay, wow. I mean, that's also probably why this episode has 235,000 views. It helps. Yeah. yeah, just a bit. <laughs> Popular product with a good story. Yeah, I mean, great it, supporting it, content, that's, great that's, edit. That's the great thing about this is like these, like it's not just, hey, we made this cool thing or whatever. It's like right. there's, there's a story behind it. There's, there's something important to tell. That's and right. Especially this one. I mean, that's, that's neat. Yeah, exactly. So it's one of my favorites just because of the story that, that, that we got to tell that happened behind the scenes. Yeah. Just, just everything coming together to kind of work to make it happen. I remember it was so last minute. And yeah. I'm like, uh, Sean, can we make this happen? And you're like, <laughs> whatever we yeah. gotta do. Whatever we gotta do. Yeah. yeah. I'll make it worth your while. <laughs> <laughs> I've said that a number of times. Yeah, I? Yes, yeah, yes, you have. Famous words. So with that, I think uh, that's wow. my five. That's Dude, my, good that's job. My, that's my five Excellent. episodes. You brought back yeah. some yeah. awesome memories. Yeah. And, and none, none of you interjected, so I, don't, I didn't take any of your. No, any no, those weren't my picks. Right? I, I was surprised. I yeah. actually thought that like some of what I've chosen that you're going to see next would have been picked by you as well. Yeah. yeah. I uh, I don't remember what I picked. <laughs> <laughs> that's so, great. Okay. So All right. cool. There we go. Cool. All right. Passing I relinquish, the mouse. I relinquish the mouse to you, oh. sir. All right. Great. So. Um, I picked uh, some videos that have some significance uh, kind of across the board sure. to, me, to whatever. So uh, a little bit, you know, I've known Joel for over 10 years and he, I've been working in television for a very long time. And I told him, when, if you want to take this seriously, if you really want to get out there and do this, I will help you out. I will do whatever I can to help you because I believe in you and what you're doing is awesome. I remember. And I knew nothing about 3D printing at that time. <laughs> I mean, I knew scientifically how it was used and I understand that, but I, I never played with it, I never dealt with it or anything. And you started doing these episodes. I remember you told me, Mickey got me a, she got me a, a 3D print for Christmas. This is awesome. I'm like, cool. Anyway. Um, <laughs> and then next thing I know, like, <laughs> like the whole basis of why we're here right now. And you're like, cool. Yeah, cool, whatever. Cool. And, cool. and here I am now, uh, executive producing the whole shebang with you. This That's is right. Amazing. That's um, right. So uh, the first episode I'd like to go back to is is pretty pretty darn significant. Is the, this hierarchical order? This is uh, they're not, hierarchical, not important. Well, kind of ish. They're they're not they're not in chronological order, but they have different importance to me. And okay. the, the, the definitely the last one is very important to me. Uh, and this first one is just the first it has to be the first okay. one because this is. Oh, the first that, that is that is literally my the first, first thing. Oh my gosh! Yeah, you went, oh my oh, gosh! Went all the way back. Wow! I went way back in that because look at it, the, a little the, 3D effect on oh, the title. Yeah. I made that. I you made that. I mean, I, I yeah. I worked so, on the After Effects team, and that's what I did with my job. I made an intro, and it was just so awesome to see this because you know, being in the field, shooting these TV shows, doing this stuff, it's like this is a. I would love to have one of these in the field because we use GoPros and other stuff like that. Sure. And then watching you do this, and you sent me the link to the episode, and you're like, this is awesome. And it's also really cool to look all the way back. To see where, where it started, yeah, right? Yeah, and also the, the, the look of like, the set, the logo, you. Look, but um, Look at that lighting. Yeah, Woo. yeah, that lighting and everything. And it's just <laughs> awesome. And it's funny to think like, you know, the show has, 40, close to 43 million views, mm -hmm. and your first episode has 2,000. Yeah, 2,000. 2,000. I highly recommend to all of you out there, if you haven't uh, seen this episode yet, go back. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to want to go back and check it, it out. It's really good because there's a little bit of snark <laughs> in Joel's commentary on why he did this this way, and, it, and it's just it's really neat because this was the beginning of it all, and I was like, oh, well, that's really cool. He made a video, and it's... And you upgraded something, and you made something functional, and it was really cool. And I started to really understand why 3D printing is relevant, because in the professional field, I think I was shooting a show for NBC at the time, um, and I'm like, man, you know, this could help me a lot. And I started looking at the gear, I'm on set differently, and I'm like, man, if I had one on set, I could make, you know, changes really quickly and, and play with rigs differently and things like mm -hmm. that. And it was like, really okay, quickly. here we go. 
Huh? <laughs> really quickly. Yeah, really quick. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Super fast. Yeah. Uh, wow. So, cool. So went back for that one there. On that there. is cool. Yeah. Um, and I mean, also in this print too, if you do look back and you go to this print, he really looked at the detail of the print. I thought that was interesting because the original print, the grips on it weren't super comfortable. You made more comfortable grips. Eventually when I made one. my own. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's yeah. You right. actually went into that detail. And I think that really shows cool. that you care. And that's important. Aww. Yeah. Um, I still haven't printed one yet. It's okay. But I need to. I have a few. <laughs> I'm still rocking that. You need, you, need, you need to put handle handle like uh, yeah. bike bike handle grips on. Oh, there. Yeah, 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 there we yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. yeah, we can use flexible filament. For, actually, oh, conductive yeah. filament. You can make it light up. Oh, yeah, but you squeeze and <laughs> it, squeeze oh, and it yeah. lights up. Yeah, there we cool. go. Yeah. Um, all right, my next one. I'm just gonna, okay. gonna just gonna click here and see if see if you guys right. know what's going on here with this I mean, one. Oh, oh, I, I remember this one. Yes, printing with metal composites and adding oh, patina, the, the patina and oxidation. Yeah, 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 yeah. This, was, this is what the, uh, the, the TARDIS. Yes. That's right. right. That's so right. The first thing I ever 3D printed was a TARDIS that you could put a light in and go. And I, oh, that's awesome. And that was the first thing I ever made. You have Doctor Who fan mm -hmm. here. This was really neat because obviously this episode came way later. I mean, it's came out in 2018. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the thing about this one, I remember when I saw this, I was like, wow, like the patina element of this and the oxidation and being able to take the materials and oh. do this. You know, I mean, I've got a biology and chemistry background. And so right. like seeing that in application this, this way and thinking about the 3D printing element of it, it really spoke to that element of me. And I really dove into it. I did a lot of research on this and I was like, man, I need to figure out how I can do this. I need to do more of this that kind of stuff. And gotcha. that really, that's cool. that really wow. resonated with me. And I was like, okay, this is okay. really okay. Too. Yeah. Cool. And also I think it was one of the first episodes where we finally got stuff in the background. Yeah. Um, I'm like, Joel, you gotta <laughs> yeah. put something in the background. And I did. Uh, yes, and it looked great. Um, it looked. Even that shelf was- I mean, it, it looked, over. but yeah. you know, whatever. Yes, and then- uh, It was a look. <laughs> yes, it was. Okay, so I have uh, two that are kind of the same, but different for different reasons. Okay. And uh, these both go hand in hand and they are really important to me for a couple different reasons. And I know as soon as I click this link, you'll understand what they are and why. Yeah, and uh, see. yeah, here it is. And is, there uh, it is. Oh! The prop dagger with the queen of steam, Oh Kato. my gosh, and I remember this. Yes, and this was the first episode that you and I truly collaborated on. This was the first time we said, I want to come in and produce something with mm -hmm. you. We need to get you out of the studio. We need to get you in the field and showing how 3D printing is applicable to all these other people right. that aren't just in our world of 3D printing. That's right. And why it's relevant. And I had just got done producing the show Steampunked. And uh, you know, Kato was one of our judges and she's a great friend. And I said, you know what? This really ties in because she is in Steampunk. She's a part of the cosplay community in a big way. She has a yeah. fashion line. She does all this other stuff. Let's get you out here. Let's show up with a printer on her doorstep and make something with her and do a home delivery bit. And so we called up Prusa. We got, which one was it? Was it, it was the, a Mark II? It was a Mark, Mark II. Mark II. Okay, yeah. Mark II. Yeah. yeah, we got the Mark II and showed up. And it's just this element of you literally on her door with this big black box. Yeah. And she's just blown away. And, and she let us do it. It was fantastic. It was awesome. And it was really cool to, to hop in there and see her experience 3D printing for the first time. And this is someone who is world renowned in design and costume design, and she right. has not been using 3D printing. And so now it's a part of her world and part of this element and all these other things in there. And we really got to see a little bit of both worlds. You got to go into her space. This is all my, my steampunk couture uh, collection. <laughs> and we, we yeah. made you elf ears. And yeah, I, we, I took an elfie. You took an elfie. I took an elfie. That's an awesome photo. <laughs> yeah. uh, and really see that and then come back. And then the dagger came out just gorgeous. And then she took that and then did the photos and then she painted it. She painted, and, and it, looked, it looked insane. Oh, my God. I mean, that was so good. She's a phenomenal artist. And that, the way it came out was great. So that episode really meant a lot to me because it was like, okay, you know what? Okay. I'm going to jump in and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to do the David on this thing here. And, we'll and you did. I, yes. I, I, I loved that episode. You yeah, David the crap the, out of that episode. I did the crap out of that episode. Yes. Yeah. David is now a verb. There it is. And so with that one also comes with a very recent episode of that course. we did no. <laughs> with a dear friend of mine, uh, Shannon, uh, and then hi guys. also Jess. And, you know, we got to use, uh, we went over to, you know, Thingergy. One of the world's coolest prop shops and one of the coolest places I've ever visited. And That's we right. We got Frank, to where we're for Frank. And it was like, you know, we brought Sean out for the shoot and all this stuff. And we really finally got to really gel as a team. I mean, this experience was awesome. Not just right. because we made such an amazing final product. I mean, those Maleficent horns 
<laughs> hey, speaking of. Right here, and <clears throat> Shannon has her. Okay. <clears throat> there you go. You now. fools! <laughs> 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 Thank Perfect. you. Oh, 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 oh. oh, oh. <laughs> we need a cheat code for getting those. Yeah. Oh, no. wow. yeah um, Are you bleeding? No, you're good. No, okay. I'm good. And, and that episode was really neat because it was another a, a shot of like, okay, you know what? I want to bring in a bunch of people from these other places. And we even had Gary in there and, you know, helping he took, out with He took that. the photos. Yeah. And that, that's where yeah. we shot the photos. We, we shot his house. Yeah. The whole thing out there. And really, it was really nice to be able to step outside of my formal world of TV and do this with mm -hmm. all of us as a team and right. get out there and be like, hey, we're gonna make an episode and we're gonna show how this can reach a lot of people. And then to bring Shannon in this space and you know, she's a she's huge really cool. nerd. And, she's so cool. And, and to bring my friends into 3D printing, that's been the really neat thing is because I work with so many different people that are huge in their own respect. I mean, she's a world renowned trainer and then you right. know, with Kato, huge in fashion and steampunk. And then Jess, I mean, a phenomenal makeup artist, and bring these people together into 3D printing. Mm -hmm. right. And show how 3D printing, you know, one ring to unite them all. <laughs> kind of thing in that element. Nice, it, nice. Yes, yeah. and uh, that, that element of it, but to show this touch point that like how all these different people, these different industries can relate to 3D printing mm -hmm. and why it's relevant in their all their fields. I mean, afterward, they were like, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this with it. And right, that right. Was neat. That's, yeah. And it was really fun just to have the genuine giddiness out of you being able to play around with all these experts and, and just see a lot of fun. Anytime, I mean, anytime you feel like what you're doing is inspiring something epic in someone else, yeah. it feels really good. And that's oh, yeah. what I felt with, with Shannon, yeah. especially. I thought she was really getting it. Yeah, and, and being over there with Frank, and you know, it's like, yeah. you know, that, Frank. That, I love going to the Frank shop. Yeah, I mean, his shop's amazing. <laughs> yeah. This guy does everything from, you know, Mandalorian to Stranger Things to the Orville. everything. The Orville. The Orville. I mean, and Disney, a zillion other things. Disney rides, even yeah, Disney for rides. Disney rides. Yeah, yeah, and, and here we are. You know, and he uses three D printing every day and yep. his elements on that. But it, we took this one item and it touched so many different hands and went through these different places and finally came together. And it was really neat to see the journey of three yeah. D print element. And also, you know, it was our first time really diving into working with the raised machines in, in this way as mm -hmm. well too. And that was neat because you know here are these guys trying to get this thing out there, and it's like okay, let's let's see what this machine can really do. If, right. if they can you do it, and, and it did. Yeah, it yeah. sure and did. It, I mean, it came out great. And then also the other thing that's neat about this is we had Garrett and Chelsea a part of this. Yeah, and right. they you know came up with the design on it. So you know this one episode used all these people to collaborate together, and that's really thing because this is a community, and that I think highlighted it the best so far. Aww. And so that dude, one that's Plus. fantastic. Yeah. Plus little tiny baby Jolfi. Yes, uh, totally. You know, <laughs> light refraction is, is a curious thing. And it's, I mean, little tiny club baby feet. Yeah. I mean, there you are. Jeez. Looks fantastic. It's, it's great. It was yeah. cold, too. It was, it was really cold. Oh, cold. <laughs> it's cold here in Seattle. That's I mean, cold. yeah, but I wasn't wearing a hoodie then. No, you were not. I, I don't have a hoodie for my little baby feet. <laughs> not yet. Uh, baby foot hoodie? Yeah, foot hoodie. Buddy? Uh, all right. Uh, Buddy? The next one I have here is <laughs> this one. I I loved um, when it happened because it it showed a side of you and the show and what we can do with this platform in a different way than just hey look what we made. There's another element to all of okay. this. Okay. And it really speaks to some really neat things. And uh, when I click this, let's see if you, you recognize this. Uh, Simplified oh. 3D has a major problem. Oh, interesting. <laughs> really? This one? Okay, this I mean, one. I know this one, but I'm really curious. I yeah. want to hear what you're, you're about to say. So, here. with this episode, it was, you went in, there was a problem. Someone reached out and said, hey, this is not working on this. And you addressed it. And a lot of people I've seen like to make fun of or use it as a shot to talk bad about companies or whatever. But you were very clear about this and saying, look, I'm not mad at them. They they do great things at this company, but this is a problem. And you went to try to genuinely help fix the problem and address the problem and show why it's an issue to the community and mm -hmm. made sure it was from a very, not like honorable standpoint or whatever, but it was just genuine. And you know, here you are here going through it, you tested it, you worked it out. I mean, your QA skills came into full That's effect That's what here. I was just gonna say. Yes. It's, it's very it's the, factually represented yeah, and, and I, tested. I, and I think that's a really neat thing about this because in 3D Pretty Nerd, in this show, we're not just highlighting, hey, they did this thing, they did this thing. It's like we're diving into the, the bones and the meat of what makes mm -hmm. these products work and, and showing and trying to help make things better. It's not just saying like, oh, this mouse sucks. There you go. It's like, no, hey, this doesn't work, but if you change this and then going back to the company and saying, hey, look, we found this, 
we want to help this. Yeah. And that's the neat thing about this. And that's what I think this episode really highlighted in a neat oh, way. And I really cool. like, I've always liked this one. It's always been uh, awesome. They didn't and respond to me. No, I, I didn't think so. <laughs> no. <laughs> but it shows that like we're not out to screw anyone over. We're not out to do that. We're here to try to collaboratively work together to make everything better. Well, yeah, if, if we make everything yes. better, it makes everything better for us, but also the community well, and, yeah. and, and every and other fellow YouTubers that are out there doing stuff for exactly. the 3D printing world. Like, if we make things better, everything gets better. Well, yeah, right? it's, it's also like we're a resource. Like, we're here to help you. We're, right. We got your back. Right. Mm -hmm. You know? Exactly. And I think that's a really neat thing with that one. Cool. Um, our, I, I yeah. did not expect that. Good. I'm glad. Wow. All right, nice. That was a surprise. Yeah. I yeah, liked it. Same. I liked it. Yeah. yeah, that one really got me there. All right, so uh, this next, these last two here, uh, one may be a surprise, the other one's probably like, of course. <laughs> that one may be this next one. This one is, I think, I love this episode. Really? And it's, oh, it's, okay. it's very underrated, and it's, <laughs> I think, incredibly important because, once again, it shows another layer of what you are as a, as a host, as a creator, and as someone with a lot of experience in this world. And, okay. to, see, and to see you sit down uh, with Adrian. Adrian oh, Boyer. 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 okay. Boyer. 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 Yeah, yeah. Boyer. And, and Boyer. 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 And sit yeah. down and talk with the man who made all this possible in a, in a way. And just to have a conversation and to sit down and talk with him. And it's not like... We're trying to talk about a machine or a build or whatever. It's just like we're talking about the state of the world and have a conversation and just see two experts in their fields have an educated, meaningful conversation mm -hmm. really, really hit home because that's what this is about. I mean, everyone's moving so fast in this day and age and they're go, go, go on this and this and this and this, whatever. Sometimes you need to sit down. Like we're not in college anymore. We're not getting lectures. We're not having these opportunities right. to sit yeah. and listen to these experts talk about this and when you take you and someone like Adrian, and I know there's gonna to be tons more that we're gonna be dealing with in the future mm -hmm. in oh, different absolutely. fields. And even when we've talked to other people that are experts in their field, it's great to have those conversations, but to just sit down, no machines, no builds, no anything, and just talk about it. I, I love this. And I think, and, and for everyone out there, if you have not watched this episode yet, take most of some them, time. I'm, most, most of them probably haven't. So if you haven't yet, this is an episode and it's about a half hour conversation, but it's incredibly worth it. I mean, put it on and just listen to it when you're in your car. It's very podcastable, right? It's, it's, it's very, very, very podcastable. Yeah, you don't need to see the images that are on the screen if you don't want to. Like, it's very podcastable listening. You can yeah. download it, just listen to it if you want. But yeah. it's, it's, it's a very entertaining conversation. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, you learn a lot. You get to cool different, different because I thought you guys were gonna have very similar viewpoints. You had very differing oh, viewpoints yeah. on a couple of things, yeah. and it was cool to have you guys like hash that out. You know, yeah. that was fun. That yeah. was a lot. And it was of fun. super relevant. Too. It was, yeah, it was one of my. It was, it was probably my favorite thing that we've filmed together so far. Oh yeah, yeah. it's 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 a really neat one. So if yeah. you haven't checked it out yet, which is all of you, do it. <laughs> um, it's it's fantastic, and also the opportunity to hear what Adrian has to say is, I mean, yep, yep. that's that's gold right there. Uh, then for my final one, this is Ooh, okay. by four, by four, by four, the most important thing we've ever done. Oh, Actually, wow. no. <laughs> yeah, it happens sometimes. No, yeah. by, uh, <laughs> this is, I think, by far, and it's, it's nothing that I was a part of in any capacity in the way, but what it did is it uh, had a huge impact on uh, my life and where I'm at right now. Oh. And oh. this one is Joel. Today is my last day in corporate America. Oh, hey! Oh, yeah, that's true, that's true. Joel's last day at Adobe. This was the episode that he put up to say that, hey, I'm now a full-time content creator, which meant, David, you are now helping me out full-time. <laughs> <laughs> but also, it was awesome to see one of my best friends take his dream and take what he had been working so hard on and make it happen. And that's what this is about. I mean, that's that's awesome. This episode, like when you watch this and you see the way you're talking, and also your hair is very much spiked up in this one. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. Yeah, full I spikes know. here, and this is before the shelves and everything came in. I mean, there's kind of shelves there. I took the TV off the wall, though, at least, yeah, to, yeah. to expose the holes. <laughs> yes, exactly. People love is, those holes, man. <laughs> I know. Um, and it's really neat. I love that you got the hairy lion there and everything. But of um, this episode to me is the most because what this did is this said, okay, we're going to take this seriously. This mm -hmm. isn't just something we're doing in the garage, this is whatever. And then I looked at this from a whole standpoint. I mean, the last 
like main show, big series show I did was in 2019 in May or June. I wrapped up that show for Netflix. So it's oh, coming out in a bit. That's right. And prior to that, you know, you had done this, and I'd been gearing up to get to this point where we could do this, where this was going to be sustainable enough. Where I'm mm-hmm. like, okay, I'm going to map out a business model. I'm going to jump in and be the show owner, executive producer of this thing, and I'm not going to let you down or you down, and I'm going to jump in and make this happen. And when this episode hit, I was like, okay. Here we go. <laughs> it's go time. Yeah, when you called me and told me, and then I saw this, it was like, all right, all right this is it. Yeah. This is a sign. This is important. This is what we need to do. So this episode, I think, is awesome, and it's really neat. If you haven't watched this, a lot of you have seen this one. If yeah, you yeah this one's pretty popular. Yeah, it's pretty popular. If you haven't seen this one yet, for new viewers or people like that, and just in general, go back and look at the old stuff. There's some good. There's some gems out there, but this one's really <laughs> neat because for all of you that are out there trying to do your own thing. Um, this is inspiring, and this really shows you you can do it. I mean, I've created my own company. I've done other things like that before. I've seen other people, but I see so many people struggle, and they get in their own way. And sometimes you just need to, like, let go, as Obi-Wan says. You know, let the force flow through you. Like, mm-hmm. be right. in that. Just, yeah. If it feels right, it feels good, you can make it work. Do it as best as you can, and, and this really highlights that. And so this episode, to me, is the most important one, not just because, hey, we're all here doing this now, but because of what it means to you and... And it was you taking that leap, and it's you know it's not just you; it's it's your family, it's your dogs, it's it's everyone <laughs> yeah. around you. It's just, yeah. you know it's the whole shebang. And it's us. Yeah, <laughs> all of it. It's, yeah. Yeah. it's here, and so that one to me is uh, also my top five. I mean, there's other ones I love as well, but those are my collective collective bunch. You pared it down. I mean, you did a good job. Yeah, that list was massive at the beginning. I, I bet. <laughs> it's tough to choose when it's so awesome. Yeah, right? I may have picked this one. You may have? I may have. You may have. I don't remember. <laughs> well, we're about to find out. Would you uh, take the wheel and drive? Oh, yeah. uh-huh. There it is. Oh, okay. All right. Okay. Passing the torch. A little bit more yeah. celebratory, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, okay. We'll take sure. That's pretty yeah. good. Magic fingers. Yeah, we're we're not going like, to light uh, the table on fire in this time. <laughs> Can we? <laughs> no. Oh. No. <laughs> Okay, so I've got my top five, but I couldn't pick between three for my <laughs> top one, so there's a three-way tie for first place. Okay. That's what we're going to start with. Oh. But I'm so going to start at number five. So you have a top seven. I have a, uh, <laughs> ah, so one, one, of, one, of my, one of my top ones is that video that you just talked about, My okay. Last Day at Adobe. So we, uh, we won't have to go back to that. Well, uh, why don't you, but you can tell us why it's one of your favorites. I mean, it might you know, be a little when obvious, we get there, but yeah. I'll tell you. All right. You know, hey, yeah. let the jury So begin. this is my number five. five. Number five, number five. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So one of the things, so if I, oh, we're already, uh, I, think I, I can't even I, try I, to. I think I. Well, what I'm saying at this point, this is where I announced that all of the money that people were sending me for these stickers and Fan Mail Friday was going to Seattle Children's Hospital. This money is going to be donated to Seattle Children's Hospital. Gotcha. Because at this point, no, I didn't say it to anyone. No one is, was really asking at this point, but a few, as time went on, was like, well, you must be getting a lot of money in Bender. What are you gonna do with it? I mean, what are we, right. you know, what are you doing? And this is where I said, this is going to the uncompensated care fund at Seattle Children's Hospital. And it was that kicked off a series of giving <laughs> that people yeah. did, and we've given thousands and thousands of dollars. We pulled $2,091 to Seattle Children's Hospital from all over the globe. It's cool, and so, yeah, that that awesome. point, that point in the channel really defined uh, almost a way of thinking. In that, uh, I, I never want to forget to be charitable. Okay, yeah, I like that. I mean, it's great because people come up to you at events, and they'll be like, "Hey, I want to make a donation to Seattle's children," and we're in Maryland. You yeah, were in Maryland, and they want to just donate to a hospital on the other side of the country. And they just want to give me cash. Yeah, and, and they're like, "Hey, we want to donate yeah. this and whatnot," and then we come back, and it's like, "Wow, look at this!" And it's just, there's no, "Hey, we're doing a donation, we're doing a drive." It's just, "Hey, I know you care, and you're doing something for them. Yeah. I'm going to contribute." And I think that speaks volumes because yeah. it, they just know. It's yeah, they know, it's, and they know because of that episode right. at that time code, right, right there. Wow. Yeah. Fan mail Friday on, on a Friday. Friday. On a Friday. <laughs> Imagine that. But Thirty-five thousand views. Look at that. All right. I mean, those used to get some. Okay, <laughs> number four, oh, oh number four. Hey, it's Joel, YouTube's 3D printing nerd, and today we're going to review the 3D Idea Builder from Dremel. This is my first 3D printer review ever. Oh. 
And I attempted to use some humor in that my young son was going to help me make a drink and I was going to drink it while doing the review. And some people <laughs> thought it was funny and some people Did didn't. <laughs> didn't. One of the number one reasons to have kids is ice. <laughs> Much better. But regardless of that, this is when a company first trusted me and my opinions to give me a product and to then use it and talk about my opinions of the product. And uh, as you can see, it was popular. It was 170,000 views Oh on my it. gosh. Oh wow, yeah. yeah. All right. It was pretty popular. Yeah. I ended up donating that machine to a friend who teaches at an elementary school across the mountains in Eastern Washington. And then after using it for a bit, I did a video conference with the students and we got to talk back and forth. Oh, that's really cool. Right? Yeah. yeah it, it was really cool. So all of that was because of this episode right here, my very first printer review. Wow. Gosh, it seems like forever ago. It was. I mean, look at that logo. What those shelves. Oh, yeah, the shelves. <laughs> I know those shelves. Yeah. yeah. It's really fun, just so you know, at home watching these, if you go back, look at what's on the shelves. Look at the prints and the tchotchkes and the other stuff <laughs> that exists on the shelves throughout the evolution of the show. There's some interesting things you'll find. It's almost like a little... Every every episode is a little time capsule in and of it itself. It really is. Yeah. Number three. Number three. Number three. Number three. Back on track. Number All right. three. What do you got? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> this is that is a 1920 Ruston Hornsby, and that's at Siemens UK's uh, uh, additive manufacturing facility. Uh, let's see. It is. Oh, what's so, the name of the facility? Uh, well, oh, Material so, Solutions. There it yeah, is. Yeah, but it was in w w Worcester. Worcester. Wooster. Yeah. Wooster. 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 And I remember at one point before going out there, I had I had called it Worcestershire. And, and, oh, no, and uh, everybody yeah. was just like, you stupid American. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this episode here is incredibly important because it set up the next phase of the business that we're in. Mm. Oh, geez. Were people shorter back then? This was a press tour. And normally, Siemens would have uh, industry writers or bloggers, or yep. people that may take a few still pictures for a news article. Mm -hmm. Those would be the ones that come out to these events and showcase a new thing. Someone from Siemens, uh, I believe his name is Pitt Trauner. Ah. Good dude. He contacted me through LinkedIn, where we're killing it. Killing on LinkedIn, baby. And he said, I have this idea <laughs> for this. Could you think, do you think you could come out here for this press tour yeah. and do your thing? I like what you do. I think it might be interesting interesting it was because I went out on this press tour and I was the only run, only one running any sort of video. And once I saw that, I was like, oh, I'm going to own this. And so, and so I, I took charge and I talked to people <laughs> and I set up the camera and I would pause. I would just, I would make sure we got exactly what we needed. And for this one, uh, Siemens provided some extra B-roll. We talked about how Material Solutions was able to make the thing that isn't available anymore. And this right here, this episode, is what set us up for our current relationship with Siemens and how we were able to go out to their facility in Gerlitz, which will yeah. be available soon, yes. and how we were able to get some time at their booth at Formnext to do a little tour. I, I really, really like this episode yeah, for that. It was really and neat, maybe too. Maybe more to come, too. We produced two fantastic episodes from that visit, one of which, other than this, was this little Christmas bobble where they had a contest right. internal to Siemens. I said, why don't you release it? In fact, why don't you let me release it and have people print it? And thousands of people around the world printed this model in all sorts of colors and filaments and tagged Siemens in it on all sorts of social media, and it was just it was just wonderful. Yeah, it was it was it was a great experience, and it really set up the next phase. And so that's why, right there, I like it. My first international trip. Yeah, and, that's, and also that car is just awesome. It's really cool. High five. <laughs> that car is awesome. It, this they had two of them. That one is the one that doesn't run, but I yeah. did get to steer it while they pushed me. Yeah, I saw that clip. That was pretty. Pretty great. <laughs> and it's what initiated them actually having now a line item for <laughs> That's YouTube, right. The show. You, That's YouTube, right. For YouTubers. For and, YouTube. And, and for Siemens. people that do what we do, yeah. now they can actually get them out to their facilities right. officially. Yeah, that's right. Officially. Yeah. Yes. So let's see. That was number three. Was All number right. Three. So now number two. What do you want to call it? What about high five blue? <laughs> All right. This is it. This is high five blue. Right there. Right there. What do you want to call it? High five blue. Bam. Yeah. That is where it all started. Yes. So originally, 
Uh, my son David and I went down to Protopasta and made the bacon filament. And Alex and I from Protopasta, we had talked, we were going to call it our a wild card series where, sure. where people, some people would just come in every once in a while and make a custom filament. Uh, the bacon was great. It was kind of a, a unicorn in that I was like, oh wow, a lot of people were curious about this. So I talked to him and went back down to make my own filament. And we had talked about, I mean, we decided it was high five blue before, but mm -hmm. at that point, right where we did the high five, that's where everybody knew what we were going to call it. And that's what kicked off the custom filaments that Protopasta does with everybody. That's awesome. That right there. In fact, yeah. the high five blue was so popular, it's, it was their number one selling filament for a few months. <laughs> <laughs> a few months. That's How awesome. awesome is that? It's, it's amazing because I remember you telling me that like, oh, we're making filament. I'm like, okay, and you're like, I'm making bacon filament. I'm like, you're, you're baking filament. You're like, no, we're making bacon, bacon filament. Ma and bacon. I'm like, How? Yeah. What? Like, it smells like bacon in here. I go, what? Coming over to the house and actually smelling <laughs> it was like, wait a minute, this, this wait, wait. really, this, this is smells really like thing. breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Um, it was really cool to see that come to life. What's great is then you and Garrett and Chelsea had the opportunity to That's go great. down yeah, yeah. to a filament workshops other people have. That's where uh, Steph and Amy Double D were able to make their filaments that other people had been using. Yeah. It's I love Amy's filament, the blood, the blood of my enemies. Blood, yeah, the blood, blood of my enemies. enemies. Yeah. Uh, that, that, that whole concept of protopasta being able to cater to a very custom niche audience is part of the reason why this community is so incredible because yeah more people are getting a chance to, to not just find out how this stuff is made, yeah. but to then take part in the process in right. making it and make it unique, make it their own. Well, I think that's the There's big no barrier. Value on I that. mean, that's the big barrier with this, right? Like a lot of people in the community know you can modify things every which way to Sunday, but people that are just hearing about 3D printing, you're just getting in there, they're still in the mentality of, oh, it's a printer that print like paper. That's their sure. you know association with this. Like yeah. If I hit bam, that's all it's going to do is do this. But now when they see these episodes and they hear about these other elements, they realize they can tweak these <laughs> way out and do all sorts of it's things. True. I think that's giving people more ways to interact with this mm -hmm. you know new form of Absolutely. creation. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I just yeah. I love this episode because uh, it was it was where it was where it started. I love it. Where it started. Oh boy, we're in the top now ones we're now. Top, we're in the, the top. top so I, I had a three-way tie. <laughs> okay. Uh, so the first one, I'm gonna go. I'm just gonna go right here because yes, this is my last day at Adobe. We already talked about this, but I, obviously this is important to me because it solidified what I was attempting to do. Uh, I got. Uh, I got the printer for Christmas of 2014, and that's when I started really with my, my hobby and just kind of getting excited about it. And then, the, and then the channel started, and then at this point, I, it was really what I was passionate about is now bringing in enough revenue to be a full-time position where a full-time job with benefits now at a software company, I, I, can, I can quit that job. <laughs> it blows my mind, <laughs> well, right? It had, 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 had health impacts on you. Right. Yeah, that's right. Because uh, I, I mean, I, I think I talked about it where yeah, yeah, uh, you did, yeah. having a full time job and another full time job with YouTube, I, uh, I was getting yeah. some headaches and forgetting some words, not because I was old, but because I was stressed out. Yes. See, now I can just forget them because I'm old. A yeah. Little, yeah, a little old. Yeah. Or too many buckets. Too many buckets do can it. do it too. <laughs> so then that was that was one of my tied for first place. Okay. Uh, here's another one. This is the Open RCF1. 3D printable RC cards. Of course. Yes. yes. <laughs> there it is. I was going to be sad if none of us picked one. <laughs> yeah. I had a feeling that he yeah. was going to pick this yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason I like this is because it all started with that right there. I, I Daniel Norey in Sweden designed the OpenRCF1, and I was like, I, I have this big machine. I think that was printed on the Ray's N2 Plus, mm -hmm. and I thought, I'm just going to make this 4X scale. I think it'll look really <laughs> cool. And I remember holding it, and I'm like, the rest of it would look really cool, <laughs> really cool. And that's what started this all. And then I reached out to Matter Hackers, who sponsored the entire filament run of yeah. this. I mean, there was like three large boxes that they had just sent up to my house. And and we printed all the parts. And uh, it was, oh man, so good. And so cool because this car is an evolution that people get to watch now. I mean, there's a bunch of uh, you know episodes yeah. about the F1 car. Yeah, many. And then where it's going now. Yeah. And with some things Ooh. that we can't talk about right. that are coming up, and there's yeah. some pieces and elements that are coming to play. Yep. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
That's pretty I, cool. I, I li- and I, I like it had humble beginnings. Oh, just yeah. Just right here. And the, a beginning in, in being inspired by something that was made by one of these machines. Because yeah. it means that anyone out there, any of you, that get inspired by one of these machines because of something you make and you, or you might tweak it yourself to a very specific way, and if that inspires you, just run with it because you never know. You might end up with a six foot long 3D printed RC car and a video with over 700,000 views. <laughs> I didn't realize there was that many on that. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just wait till the next one. If I would have, <laughs> so remember, remember uh, the latest episode we had Mark Rober on, yeah. where you know he was made fun of me because he only makes twelve videos a year. Yep. yep. Uh, so I think had I been able to concentrate more on the OpenRC project and do more regular episodes on it, I yeah. think the view counts would have been higher. But I think we we sort of we sort of lived out the. The, the the high view counts of it and the so inter- the, the the heavy interest in the, it right? the heavy yeah. interest yeah, right, yeah, yeah. but there's still plenty of interest in it but the uh, the next stuff we do to it I think is going to revive some of that so I'm, I'm kind of uh, really excited yeah about yeah. It. <laughs> yeah and so this is the last one here the right. last one or the last one of my one the last one that's tied for one okay. on uh, on my memory list here ah uh, <laughs> yes <laughs> come on right there look at that yeah. toilet brush. There it is. I had no idea, no idea that anyone was even going to find this interesting. Uh, I printed on the G Max and the Harry line. I talked to the guy that designed it. I think his name was Primos, and he specially designed this one because I wanted to scale it up. When people took the original model and scaled it up, the hairs were thicker. Oh, right. And I said, no, I don't. What I want is a larger model, but the same thickness of hairs as the smaller ones. And that's why it took so long, and that's why it's such a glorious mane. Where yeah, that's why where it is. It, oh. that's, that's oh. that. It's not duplicatable unless you have there a is. version of the model, right? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Right. Exactly. The and then oh, um, oh, that, this oh, is my most viewed episode oh, on the oh, channel oh, by, oh. by far. It's at 2.9 million views. Right. Wow. 2.9 million. And it was crazy three because <laughs> when, I, when I made this episode and it started to hit viral popularity, uh, not many people get to see this because on the back end you get to you get to see view counts and you, you see these bar graphs. Yeah. And normally on the back end, YouTube gives you a uh, a forty eight hour tail for real time views, uh, which which means that it, f- at that time where you're looking at it, forty eight hours prior, this is how many real time views you've had. Yeah. And typically, you know, I, I would chart 20, 30, 40, 000, It's fine. This started to go viral, and I remember it hit a hundred thousand. And I'm like, wow, 100,000 views in, in the past 48 hours. This is great. 200, 300, 400. It peaked at 550,000 views in a 48-hour period. Wow. <laughs> and that was the first wow. time I ever saw that. And uh, it's, it's, it's mind-blowing when you watch this. And it's, it's even more mind-blowing because it was happening to my channel, the one I was watching. <laughs> right. So yeah, that was that was kind of cool, and this this virility, the I know you want to. It's a pet lion. It is. <laughs> the virility of this episode yeah. is great because it really set us up for some further success. This got the name out there. This yeah. was recognized. I had a Discovery Channel come into my house and film a little interview with me. This is when I got stopped by people who didn't know 3D printing at all and say, hey, wait, you're the hairy lion guy. <laughs> yeah. Which I, I could have taken it as two ways. One, it's like, oh, geez, I mean, you, this is the only thing you watch? No, I took it as, wow, that's right. And yeah, do you want to see it sometime? I mean, I'll bring it out. You can take a look at it. Uh, it was great because I think it inspired others to get into this fantastic hobby and, yeah. to, um, and to do some cool things. Uh, my buddy Jimmy Shaw, he did a really large, or he did a smaller hairy line print that George Takai found and uh, retweeted as well. And so right now I'm at 2.9 million views. I think he's at like 2.5, 2.6, something there like that. There it is. Yeah. Wow. People it's like really this, cool. People like this it's model. It's really, yeah. really cool. It's a great model. I mean, it's, it's a really awesome print. Yeah. I like it. Well, yeah. I mean, I like it for obvious reasons, but well, it's a it's, fun one to print too because you get to get fun. out there and actually you know sculpt the hair. You right. can do that. Yeah. And obviously, you know, you've seen the other ones out there that don't. It's not, it's not just do it right. It's droopy and it looks like they got soul glow in or I whatever. I still get you know? comments <laughs> on that. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, well, we go to all these maker events now. We travel around. People still reference the Harry Lion. Absolutely. And it's, you know, it's, it's a complicated print, and there's some elements to that, I think. And I think that's really neat is hearing the other discussions that come from this mm, and right. talking to all the other makers and seeing, you know, <laughs> that, that connection. 
You know, these are our favorites. These are the ones that we picked that really meant something to us and really took hold of our heart because that's where we love things. But I would imagine you might have other choices. Do you agree with what Sean said or with what David said or, or even with what I said? Or do you disagree? Do you have other choices? I would love to hear what you have to say about all this and those, uh, those comments down below. Definitely. I will read them all and I'll make sure they respond to them as well. <laughs> We try to be pretty active in the comments, I think. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think yeah. you you both do a fantastic job. <laughs> oh, shucks. So, a big thanks for watching and making it this far, because if you did, you're awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more, because we love you. We love you? We do. Yeah, we, we do. Love you. We, we love do. you guys. We do. As always, high, high five. five.